And the ho there, neighborino. Don't have too much news on the plate for you tonight. The Nintendo Labo VR kit reviews are in. Got a couple PlayStation VR games upcoming this week. And finally, there is one more immersive movie experience type thing to keep your eye out for. So, for the first story of the night, the Nintendo Labo VR. So, as I said, all those reviews are in, and they all seem to have one thing in common. Although this is more of a budget VR system deal, it doesn't really lack in the immersive qualities. So, if you have been hesitant when it comes to getting that... Uh, when it comes to getting... VR of some kind, this just may be your one of your better options. As, like I said, though this kit does have all the immersiveness that you would really ask for. It comes with a the, the kit comes in two different flavors. It's got the basic kit and the starter kit. The, the basic one is the for, is the forty dollar one that I've been talking about and advertising, but the the starter kit has is eighty dollars and comes with like three or four more mini kits inside it. All the expansion packs and, and stuff, and in in those expansion packs, they come with a few. I'm not sure what you would call them, but licenses, I guess, for all of your, for all of the games that would go with the Toy-Con kits that come with the starter. One thing that is also noted, though, is that in the event that you mess something up in the process of constructing this, it's not the end of the world. You can go back and fix it and there's instructions on how to do that so you don't need to worry about breaking something that that you that you may have just spent an hour and a half working on it's not the end of the world if you mess up with with a washer or a, a screw or something you can you can fix it and the Nintendo Switch that is going to be in your living room during the pro during this whole process is going to tell you how to do that. Nintendo understands that, that people are human. Well, most of us are human. I, I, I don't know about some people. But, yeah, most of us are human and we make mistakes. So, they do take that into consideration. And, they did intend to help people out if that was the case so no need to worry you'll still be able to play your games next up i said i would touch on a couple game releases coming out this week first up we got ghost giant this one is going to be akin to something along the lines of astrobot rescue if you guys like that, great. If you didn't, well, you do you. Next up, we also have Quiver. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you actually played Skyrim VR. Since that Skyrim VR came out back in 2016, it was a launch title for the PlayStation VR. Uh, reason I'm bringing this up is because of the archery system built into Skyrim. You would hold one out as your bow and you would use the other move controller to, to pull it back as you would the bowstring. That is, those are the, the basic mechanics that you would use in Quiver. You would hold one move controller in your hand standing still while using the other to pull back your bowstring and you would move around the left one 
or right one, whichever one is in your bow, you would move around that specific move controller in order to aim. And of course, as far as movement, I'm willing to bet that the that that same movement system from Skyrim is going to still be in Quiver as well. Now granted, these are not the same developers, obviously, because then Quiver would be a broken game. But we're not talking about Bethesda here. That That's another story. I'll, I'll let Inside Gaming roast Bethesda all they want in a later video. Uh, next up, we got Table of Tales, The Crooked Crown. That one, that one also comes out on Tuesday, just like these other two did, or do. Uh, this one is going to be more along the lines of... Do, do, do. This one is going to be a top-down, turn-based combat game. You would end up leading a group of weathered explorers to kill a monster or whatever and that's just about it so the regular version came out back in september but this vr version is coming out on tuesday just like ghost giant and quiver so if you guys feel like checking out any of those videos you know what to do and the last piece of news for the for the night is about an immersive 360 degree film that's going to be coming to the big, I guess big five VR, PlayStation VR, Oculus, Vive, Android, and iOS. Typically I, I just think of PlayStation VR, Oculus, and Vive, but you know, Android and iOS can have their their little mini mobile VR thing too. But the the basis of this story is the fact that it's going to be it it's going to be an an immersive experience, interactive experience, similar to uh, Black Mirror Bandersnatch. Now e even after watching the trailer, I kind of figured i saw that some that a kid died or something but i i saw that the the mother was hallucinating and worried about seeing her dead kid or something but e even all after all that i couldn't really follow the trailer all that well so i'll link that to, i'll link that video in the description as well so if you guys want to check that out on your own, be my guest. So, I believe that is a good place to end the video for the night. If you guys like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.